Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. This is part 35 of the e-commerce app playlist. Today we will work on the profile fragment in the bottom navigation. Now this fragment is blank and we're gonna just show the views and navigate between the all the fragments that we've done in the couple past videos. Okay, so as usual, you will find the resources of this episode in the description. We need some uh, the layout file and some drawables. So copy the layout file and paste it. Well, we actually already have that layout file. So now it's gonna ask us to replace it as you can see over right. So make sure to add that. Now we have some errors and those because of the icons. Let's add that. Now, after we copy them, paste them in the drawable file. And if we get back to the fragment now, we should see it. As you can see, this is the design. In here, we have the name and we will show the image of the user, the profile picture. And when the user clicks on this uh, layout, we want to navigate him or her to the user account fragment. Same thing for the all orders here. Uh, track orders, I think, I don't know if I'm going to implement that. I'll see. Now in the building, uh, the same. We already, we already like prepared the building fragment. Notifications, there will be a video for that. So, but not now. Uh, logout is a very simple thing. We'll do it now. Okay, so now let's actually create a view model. And let's call this profile view model. Let's set up this view model. And uh, for the dependencies, as usual, we need the Firestore and the Firebase authentication. So let's inject that using Dagger Health Private Val Firestore, which is Firebase Firestore. And we also want the authentication. And now let's actually add the inject here and annotate this with Health View Model. Now we want a function to retrieve the user data. Well, this won't be a get function. This will be a snapshot listener because we want to reflect the new image whenever the user changes it. And for that, let's also have a state here, uh, private val user. Let's make this immutable state flow resource. And in here we pass a user object. Not from Firebase, but from the data package we have in this project. And we can pass resource.unspecified as an initial value. We can duplicate this and expose it for the UI. Okay, now we can say function get user. And we can say firestore.collection user collection then the user document so document we'll pass the user uid in here and now we can say add snapshot listener so in here we get the value and the error as usual the error is nullable so we can say if error equals to null then we want to just emit error in the in the state and return of this function so we can say error.emit or we need a view model scope for that can say user and resource dot error and we send the exception the message of that exception uh, here add the not operator because if it's null we want to emit error and return of this function now we get the message we make sure that is a string and we just return or we can actually add the else branch here doesn't uh, make a difference now in here we want to get the user object so we can say user we can say value dot to object and we can say user object okay this might be an all we can do this i don't think this is gonna be an all like there is no any scenario where this could be an all but just for safety let me just pop the keyboard to the screen because i have an issue with the question mark in my keyboard anyways now we can just make an all check and, and in here we can launch a view model scope to emit a success case. We can just pass the user. Um, let's also in here emit loading in our state and we're good to go with this function. Okay, now let's call this inside the init block here. 
and now let's actually go to the fragments package and inside the shopping package we have the profile fragment in there let's set up this fragment okay now we want to set some click listeners the first one is on the profile container if I show you the design you can see what I mean by the profile the user container here this one which is a constraint layout and it has an ID of constraint profile so let's set a click listener on that and then navigate to the user account fragment so in here we can say binding dot constraint profile set on click listener um, we can't actually navigate now because this fragment is not in the navigraph yet so let's add that go to the navigraph the shopping navigraph and we actually do have the profile fragment but we don't have the links so I actually created the links um, so as you could see you need now to create your links so we have the profile fragment make a link between the profile fragment with the user fragment with the user account fragment if you don't have I don't I don't think we have added that before in this navigraph so anyways if anything is missed you just can add it into the navigraph click on here and add the fragment from here we've done that so many times in this playlist so anyways now we define the links between the profile fragment and the user account fragment we also have a link between the profile fragment with the orders fragment another one with the billing and yeah so we only have three links so far we might add more later so we'll see close this and now let's say find nav controller dot navigate so now we are navigating from the profile fragment to the account or to the user account fragment we we need that link so you can say rid let's import r here action profile fragment this one we also need another click listener on all orders let me show the design as you could see we have all orders here and this is inside a linear layout which has an id of linear all orders so let's set a click listener on that binding dot linear all orders set on a click listener in here we also can navigate say r.id from the profile fragment to orders fragment okay let's see what we also need to do here the billing so let's also add a click listener on that linear billing set on a click listener here we actually need to use the other way of navigating using the action so let's actually get the action because we are required to pass some arguments and whenever we pass arguments i recommend you to use the other way which is getting the profile profile fragment directions and here you have all the actions now we want this one because we want to get from the profile to the billing and here we pass the arguments uh in here we need to pass the price in this case we don't have any products we don't have any price so pass zero and we pass empty array here then we can actually say find nav controller dot navigate and we pass this action okay now one more click listener on the logout linear layout this one here which has an id of let me see linear logout so let's add a click listener on that binding dot linear logout dot set on a click listener and we have not created a function to logout so we're just gonna call that and we'll create it now can say a log log out after we log out we want to move to the login register activity uh, so we need to create an intent here and we are going from this the current activity to the login register activity then we say start activity we pass that intent and then we will remove this activity from the back stack of the activities for that we can call finish or we can call require activity dot finish this will actually make sure to remove this activity which is the shopping activity from the activities back stack so when the user navigate back we just we just don't want the user to get back to this activity because there's nothing to show or because the user is not logged in okay now let's actually implement the logout function in the view model let's go in here and let's say function log out and this function is very 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 hard as you can see all we want to do is to say authentication dot sign out boom that's actually it 
so nothing fancy here and if we go back to the design you could see we also have this thing in here which tells the version the version of the app so let's actually add that we can say binding dot tv version dot text now we can say version and to get the version you can use the build config class and say version code and now let's actually collect the state so we can show the image of the user and the username so we can say we, we need a lifecycle scope for that we launch that when the when the fragment starts and we collect the state from the view model i'll just copy that from another fragment like uh, we have that in the cart fragment so inside here let me see where we have that okay in here i'm gonna copy this block of code i don't want to write it again and again paste that in and we can just remove these things and change them okay so in the loading we want to show the progress bar dot visibility we show that oh you're visible and success we just make it gun error the same thing and inside the success state we also want to show the image of the user we use a glide for that with require view uh, require view yeah we also have that load we load it dot data dot image path uh this could be null uh no this won't be null so add just double exclamation mark and if we have an error we just show an empty or like black image so we can say color drawable color dot black and finally we load it into binding dot image user now we also want to show the username so tv username dot text we can get that from it the data dot okay so here we have first and last name i would put that into string use this expression then we can make space between the first name and the last name and then we add the last name in here okay so that's it for this uh state now one more thing i want to add in here is inside the on resume callback we want to show the bottom navigation view because later in the next video we're gonna just add some more functionalities to the to the other fragments and we're gonna hide the bottom navigation view in the like in uh in, for example in the building fragment and when we navigate back we want to make sure to restore the bottom navigation and we'll do that in the own resume and before we launch the app let's actually go up and annotate this with android entry point now let's let's actually launch the app let me change the emulator here and by the way inside the navigraph in here make the home fragment as just selected and assign it to the make it the start destination okay now let's go to the profile fragment okay that's actually cool now let me just make this bigger click on here we navigate it to the account fragment let's navigate back oh never mind <laughs> now we can also click on all orders here's here are all the orders we can click building so don't worry about this total and place order we're gonna hide that in the next video and yeah so if we click on log out here we log out of the account we never get back like i don't know what's happening here i, I think i'm gonna check that I'll, I'll see if I can fix that in the next video. And if any one of you guys just uh, find a solution for this, make sure to comment down below and I will just include it in my next video. Okay, don't worry about this one. We'll find a solution for this one. So that's it for this video. I hope you have a great day. Catch you in the next one.